Part 830 of the FAR aim is reserved for the NTSB, National Transportation Safety Board. The definitions that you're responsible for are accident, incident, fatal injury, serious injury, and substantial damage. The reason that you want to understand these definitions is because it affects what you have to provide immediate notification for or not. Let's look at the definition of an accident. The FAA considers an accident to occur any time a person boards an aircraft with the intent to fly until the time that person disembarks. So as long as they had the intention to fly and an accident occurred within that time frame, it's still considered an accident, even though the plane may not actually have been in the air. So uh, the accident in that time frame would have to have caused either fatal injury, serious injury, or substantial damage. So within that time frame, one of these three occurred, then it's considered an accident. An incident is any occurrence other than an accident where the, the incident caused a questionable safety regarding the aircraft. Like if it was damaged and it's not completely safe, then it's still considered an incident. Um, now, the fatal injury is if a person died within 30 days as a result of the accident. A serious injury is several different things. It could be um, any broken bones other than fingers, nose, and toes. It could be any type of ligament or tendon damage or internal organ damage. It's any time a person, a person is ha hospitalized for more than, um, I believe it's 48 hours within a seven day period from the accident, uh, any uh, second or third degree burns or any type of burns involving more than 5% of the body. So any one of those are considered a serious injury. Substantial damage is uh, damage that occurred to where the plane is basically no longer usable without having uh, major repairs or major alterations. Um, the uh, immediate notification is if there was an accident, a serious incident, or an overdue aircraft. Now we know what an accident is. An accident is any one of those, a fatal injury, a serious injury, or substantial damage. But what is serious incident? A serious incident, um, I may have to read off my list because it's a, quite a big list that's, um, that they put under the serious incident, but it's uh, if your flight control systems malfunction during the flight, if uh, the, there's an inability of the flight crew member to perform his or her duties due to illness or something, uh, a failure of a turbine engine, so if the blades of um, a turbine or a jet engine came apart during flight, you have to notify them. In-flight fire, uh, air, two aircrafts collide in flight, damage to property other than the aircraft that is, uh, uh, totals more than $25,000, and uh, an electrical failure, hydraulic failure, or loss of thrust in any aircraft weighing over 12,500 pounds. Um, if your propeller came apart in the air, whether a piece of it broke off or the whole thing broke off or came apart, um, if a piece of your propeller broke apart, other than if you were on the ground and had a prop strike on the ground. So you'd have to notify it for that. And um, if you had an electronic cockpit, if more than 50% of the electronics, the glass cockpit, uh, were unusable, you have to notify them. If you had a TARA while on an IFR flight plan or in Class A airspace. So TA stands for Traffic Advisory and RA stands for Resolution Advisory. So, uh, for example, airliners have TARA equipment, and at first, if the aircraft uh, that was coming closer to them, uh, they would give a uh, traffic advisory. It would just say, traffic, traffic. But once the, the aircraft is so close to them that it also gives a resolution advisory, such as descend, descend now. So if you had a TARA on an IFR flight plan or in class air, A airspace, it has to be reported. And then uh, lastly is if uh, an air carrier operation had a runway incursion. So any one of those items on that list is considered a serious incident. Now, 
Uh, the immediate notification, by definition, says that you notify the NTSB by the most expeditious means. So that could be by calling them, by emailing them, by faxing them, however you think. But the accident must be reported within 10 days without the request. And the overdue aircraft, believing to be an accident, um, has to be immediately notified. Uh, you have to immediately notify them within seven days without request. But the serious incident, you only have to report one of those if they ask you to report it. But then once they ask you to report it, you must do it by immediate notification, which means the most expeditious means. Um, and then finally, you're also responsible to understand the preservation of wreckage. If there was an aircraft accident, um, you're not allowed to touch or tamper the aircraft unless it's to preserve either the wreckage or the person or the property around that. So these are the items that you're responsible for for the NTSB segment, and uh, your examiner will ask you a few questions about this on the oral portion of your check ride.